Greetings. Today we're going to go check out a couple of men's beach cruisers. One is the trusty old Electra single speed. The other one is a firm strong bruiser three speed bike. Well, I've had both these bikes for a couple of years now, put a couple hundred miles on each, so give you a pretty fair opinion on what I think of these. The Electra bike is the one with the book rack on it and it's closer to the garage and the firm strong is uh, at the beginning here closer to us and it has the gear shift uh, cable going on it you can see they're both fairly hefty bikes they're both 19 inch frames with 26 inch tires uh, i would say both uh, frames are pretty heavy duty but uh, the firm strong looks a little beefier has a bigger top tube where the electra has a, a double tube on it The three speed gears for the firm strong bikes are internal into the hub, so we don't have to worry about uh, derailers and such on the uh, back end to knock off or get brushed against anything. Again, we have to consider these are beach cruisers, so they're meant for, for the most part, slow speed handling. Uh, but I do use them a little bit for commuting around here, and again, mostly on flat terrain. I think one thing you'll notice is the aesthetics between the two. Firm Strong has a, a big single tube on the top frame where the uh, Electra has uh, kind of the two top tubes. Both frames are really good. Uh, I can't complain. Jumping curbs and such. Uh, haven't noticed any cracked frames or uh, any damage. The, uh, the front forks are also real good. Haven't had any damage with those despite, you know, jumping curbs and going up curbs and such. So I'd say on the frame side, they're both uh, fairly rugged. Now, the, both these bikes are set up for me. Uh, again, notice kind of the upright stance that we ride with these uh, cruisers. But you can also tuck the uh, your hands in towards the, the headset there and get into a little bit of a tuck position if you need to, to get going a little bit. But again, uh, somewhat limited with the gearing that we have here. Both are geared fairly low, uh, so they're not meant for speed. They're meant for kind of general light cruising around. Uh, also, the performance on the sand, about the same. It's more, I think, dependent on the tires. Uh, I'm really impressed with these. They both have fairly comfortable rides, but if I had to give an edge to one, it would be the Electra. And it has a little bit better ergonomics, but hey, it's not that big of a difference. Again, that's probably one of the more important aspects when looking at a, at a bike is uh, does it feel good so now we'll take the uh, Electra out for a little spin here and uh, its low speed performance is really good uh, the head angle on it is, is really good for tight areas um, and uh, it kind of moves along very very smoothly and if I had to give the Electra one uh, credence to it, it is a very very smooth bike it's also, you know, the, both bikes are about the same weight, so the idea of throwing them around and stuff is, is, is not much different. Again, nice smooth gearing on this. Good low speed performance. However, it does suffer a little bit at the top speed, and that's where I think the Firm Strong has a little bit of an edge. So if you're looking for a little bit better high speed activity and more of a commuter type of situation, 3 speeds definitely got it. But frame-wise, comfort-wise, they're both pretty much the same. Both bikes have your typical coaster brake. Granted, it is what it is. It's not as good as hand brakes, but... Uh, for cruising around, sudden stops are, are not the forte of these beach cruisers, but uh, otherwise, hey, they both work out pretty good.
Now we're out for a ride in the Firmstrom Bruiser and because it's three speed it has a little bit better bottom end and it also has a better top end. If I had to equate the gearing on this second gear of the three gears would equate to the Electra's gearing. Uh, so we're able to slow down a little bit and if we have to work through a lot of traffic and tight situations we could always drop it down into first gear. We're just kind of general cruising. Second gear works out really good. And if you have to get to places, then you could pop it in third gear. So again, the idea of a, a speed bike, it works out really, really pretty good. Now they do have seven speed bikes. And one of the issues with seven speed bike is it does have a rear derailleur. It's not internal. So you have to worry about that with things like storage and uh, uh, you know, possibly damaging or knocking that out of alignment. Well, I did ride around these things with well, using one hand while holding the camera in the other hand, so uh, the riding isn't quite as smooth as might, one might think. But I hope you enjoyed these reviews. If I had to rate these bikes, uh, I would, you know, for the kind of the cruiser mountain bike one, I would probably give these things around a 7 to 8, uh, with maybe the Firmstrong being an 8.5 mainly just because it has the speed. So I think a good option if you didn't have to worry so much about a derailleur would be a 7 speed or 13 speed or even an 18 speed for beach cruising. But otherwise, hey, get out there, have some fun, go for a ride.